carnivores it's me bella the steak and butter gal you all know i just wanted to update you guys again that i am in los angeles steak and butter guy and i have moved into a new apartment and it's actually very close by to my little sister so i have some exciting breaking news to announce my little sister and steak and butter guy are gonna go carnivore guided by me coached by me yeah i'm gonna stick to it this time yeah you see because, don't because make any promises because I'm you're gonna disappoint yourself you see the thing with changing diet which by the way is not an easy feat changing diet is one of the hardest things because diet is so ingrained it's such a deep habit uh any food choices we've been repeating it for so many years so if you want to change your diet from standard american to carnivore it's going to take a lot of failures and a lot of tries and a lot of patience and a lot of time but the fact that my little sister and stick and butter guy want to try it is what matters is what really moves me so i'm so freaking excited i am ecstatic i am stoked about just even their first day they haven't even started yet and i'm already like steak and butter guys time to go shopping at costco we are at costco because we need to prepare for this carnivore challenge and i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i will get for my newbie carnivores my little sis and steak and butter guy so because my little sister is coming from a very very junk filled carb filled standard american diet i'm going to focus on choosing carnivore foods that are delicious that are easy to eat that are not going to make her nauseous nauseated and that are going to entertain her so you'll get to see me choose variety you know when it comes to carnivore foods it's not just going to be a rib roast and i'm out the door i'm actually going to go in and choose a selection a variety of interesting carnivore foods that will keep uh little miss steak and butter excited and steak and butter guy he already knows what he likes so we're gonna get what he likes and then we're gonna get what i like which is my ribeye roast so let's go Guys, I am like checking uh, obsessively all the ingredients in all of these cold cuts and it is so disappointing. 99% of these packages have sugar, they have dextrose, they have chemicals, they have cellulose. It is very important that you guys check the ingredients before buying stuff, always. So cold in here. So I see that they have grass-fed, grass-finished beef sausage. So let's just take a look together, see what the ingredients are. I really want to have like sausages for my little sister to keep her entertained. Uh, let me see. See, you see, there's cane sugar. No bueno. Not good. Put it back. So disappointing. Let's see this one. Smoked chicken sausage. So, so far it looks all right. You see this? There's no sugar. A lot of seasonings. I'm just gonna get it because I know my little sister will like it a lot. Okay, so it also looks like these two are excellent choices for those who are new to carnivore. There is zero sugar. It's grass-fed beef sausages. And I think the ingredients look very good, very clean. It's just some seasoning, salt, and grass-fed beef. This one is the same. Uh, now I don't know what the heck is cherry powder, so I don't know, should I get it? So I thought I'd show you guys what I got from Costco. So this is the first item that I'm already cutting into right here. Uh, I'm going to cook up about four ribeyes today because Steak and Butter Guy wants some. And 
I apologize if everything is scattered. I forgot to start filming and I already put everything away. This is the first thing. What? And then look, I have some carnivore crisps that I set out on the table for steak and butter guy if he wants to snack on it during his carnivore, you know, transition. My little sister can come over and eat it. Next thing I got were some of these pans. It's just a set from Costco. Also got a set of their knives here. And what else? And as you all know, I just moved into the apartment, so everything is kind of scattered. Again, not the cleanest right now, I apologize. Then I got some eggs, these Kirkland brand pasture-raised organic eggs, because I know that both my sis and steak and butter guy will need these eggs, because eggs alone add so much variety to meals. This is more ribeyes I'm gonna cook up. Okay, let's do a fridge tour. Lots of sausages, as you can see, we have these Teton, Teton Waters Ranch 100% grass-fed beef Polish sausage. Then I got another type of sausage, chicken sausage, because both of them do like chicken sausages as well. Again, we are focusing on variety, on exciting meals. That's not the same thing every day, like mine. I got this Dubliner uh, natural cheese. I've tried this myself actually. It's pasteurized, but it is very tasty. And then I got some more cheese. This is a fancy one, Parmigiano Reggiano, shredded and aged. This is perfect to sprinkle over basically anything I cook for them. Just sprinkle this and a wasam turns to a very fancy, gourmet, tastier carnivore meal. And then I have this beef snack stick, which is also completely carnivore, zero sugar. So this is great if they are just hungry and they're bored and they want to eat for entertainment, snack on this, you know? Okay, the other side of the fridge. Disregard this. We got this uh, right when we moved in. So if they're going to finish this, I'll let them finish this. But uh, okay, so beef fat, this is our cooking oil. So every time I cook eggs for them, I will be cooking in beef fat. This is from my ribeye roast uh, that I got from Costco. This right here. And we got a huge thing of ground beef and it's very affordable, 88, 12. But again, it's super affordable, only 3.29 per pound, a total of 19.54 uh, for six pounds of ground beef. That's excellent. And down here, as you can see, I have some chicken. This is just half of the Costco pack. I put the other half in the freezer, but this is just chicken tenderloins which is the most tender and juicy cut. All right, let's look at my freezer now. Let me close this. So that's my fridge, guys. Chicken, ice cubes. And here I have some food from Costco that I brought over from home when I moved in. So I've got the sliced beef short ribs, which are amazing when I bake it in the oven. So I got another one. And I have all of these pre-sliced ribeyes from my last ribeye roast. I've got quite a few baggies, another one there. Uh, whenever I want to just thaw it and eat it for my OMAD, I'll just take a baggie and each baggie is my OMAD for the day. All right, and that is that. So I actually have my air fryer outside in the patio or the deck, whatever you call it. And the ribeyes are done. And I just wanted to show you guys that I'll be eating two of these ribeyes maybe more because i definitely feel like steak and butter guy will not be able to finish his two but i just wanted to show you how gorgeous it looks and if you want to know what uh, air fryer i'm using i'll link it in the description box below so i'm going to put the steak in a pan because i only have one plate in the apartment we will be getting more Steak number one. Number one. Woo! And steak number two. It looks so gorgeous. Okay, so I have my plate or pan of ribeye steaks right here. It looks so good. I'm gonna let it rest and just let the magic happen.
As you can see, by the way, this is the living room of the apartment and it is completely empty except for a little folding chair. And outside is the little deck where I'm air frying my steaks. So I wanted to share with you guys what I am cooking up for my boyfriend steak and butter guy and my little sister, little miss steak and butter. So she's here and she's waiting for dinner. He is on his laptop working, also waiting for dinner. So I'm the chef probably all of this month because I want to make sure that they're eating the right foods. So I offered, I will cook everything every meal for you and I will plan all the meals for you and make sure it's carnivore. All you guys have to do is eat it. So I know I'm so generous, right? <laughs> but I love cooking carnivore stuff. It's really not that hard. It only gets so complicated because you're only dealing with animal foods and there are only so many of it. Let me turn off this fan. So both of them, by the way, huge announcement. Both Steak and Butter Guy and Little Miss Steak and Butter will be going carnivore. They want to try it, probably because they see how amazing I feel and look, especially my sister. She wants to lose weight. And I was just over the moon when they both told me that they want to try carnivore. So this is why I will be cooking for them. So from now on, you'll be seeing a lot of YouTube videos of me cooking a variety of carnivore meals for him and her. Okay, I wanna just introduce to you guys the ingredients that I'll be working with today. You already saw what I'm cooking for myself. It is one single ingredient, has been for the past 45 days. Beef, and to be specific, a ribeyes from Costco Prime. Yes, Prime. Okay, first thing that I'm gonna be opening up and cooking smoked chicken sausage, organic basil, and cracked black pepper. Now, obviously I chose this one over anything that was more like plain because these people that I'm cooking for are coming from a standard American diet where everything they are eating is enhanced with flavor, enhanced with tons of salt, enhanced with tons of seasonings, and possibly MSGs and chemicals and nitrates and nitrites and sulfates and uh, I don't know, what else? Sugar. So I want to make sure they're still excited and they don't find their meal today bland, right? That's the last thing I want. I want them to enjoy their dinner. And then I'm going to be playing with my favorite eggs, which I am taking a break from. Only a break. We're not breaking up forever. And then I'll be cooking everything in some beef fat from my ribeye roast. And I'll be topping this meal with some shredded Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay, so let's just get cooking. I'm really excited. I'm kind of just going to play with these, see what turns out. Definitely gonna be doing two pans. Not gonna combine all of these things, but yeah, let's just get cooking. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna cook are the eggs and both of them want sunny side up for dinner. So I'll be melting my beef fat right here onto the pan first. Turn up the fire. Just gonna drop a cube of fat into the pan. I'm going to do a big generous chunk. This is a tiny one. I'll do this one and one more. This one. Chunks of beef fat in the pan. Okay, let that melt for a couple minutes. And in the other pan that I have, I will be cooking up the sausages separately. So what I like to do with sausages is I like to cut little lines. I like to cut into the sausage so it cooks a little bit more thoroughly. Like that. You can't really see, but it helps cook the sausage more thoroughly and it requires less time to be cooked. I'm gonna be cooking three of these chicken sausages. Let me just cut the third sausage, like so. And I'm still waiting for the beef fat to melt and coat this pan for the eggs. But this is the third sausage. This is what it looks like. All three are in the pan. And I'm just gonna turn up the heat and cook in its own fat. All right, let's go check on my steaks in the air fryer, my second batch. Let's go. Today's weather, by the way, super hot. So I got in plenty of sunlight, plenty of vitamin D. And at Six Flags, oh my God, it was burning hot today. But let me turn around the camera and show you guys. All right, so this is my first batch, just resting. Let's open this up. 
Wow, look at that beauty. I'm just gonna flip it and then put it back in for two more minutes. So I have the sausages cut up into little bite-sized pieces. I just thought that it would look better and it would cook faster, so that's what I did. It's almost done. I have my two servings of ribeye. Honestly, I feel like I can eat this whole plate and that. So hopefully Stick and Butter Guy doesn't eat it all. <laughs> this is for Steak and Butter Guy and me. We're just gonna share both plates um, freely. And this is the egg sunny side up for my little sister and Tommy. I put seven eggs in here and these two pans are just cooking. How beautiful is it? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat. Oh, and these both are unseasoned, zero salt, zero pepper. This is just cooked in the beef fat that you guys saw. I melted, I took out the fat chunks, threw it away, and I cooked the eggs in here. And these are just sausage cooking in its own fat. Have the nice hot sausages all I'm gonna do is gonna sprinkle it onto the sausage and have it melt and coat the gorgeous meat that would be amazing delicious and eggs and steak alrighty so this is day one for my little sister her dinner she's starting with dinner today and I made her the chicken sausage three of them cut up topped with melted parmesan shredded cheese and i made her seven sunny side up eggs i doubt she'll be able to eat all of this her appetite is not big at all nothing compared to mine so if she can't finish these eggs stick and butter guy will for me i have one two three four five pieces of steak but obviously stick and butter guy is going to eat some as well so this is our whole feast for tonight Let's eat. Yeah. Oh, Tommy, you want to say hi? Hello. Are you going to eat with uh, the little sis? Yeah. I'm not going to share her name because I know she's very private. What should we call her? I was thinking either Little, little Miss, Miss. You like that? Little, little Miss Steak and Butter, right? Because uh -huh. I was going to say Steak and Butter Girl, but that st sounds too much like mine, Steak and Butter Gal. Because uh -huh. you're a Steak and Butter Baby. What? He's Steak and Butter Guy. Little Miss Steak and Butter, it's time to eat dinner. Go call her. Tell her it's time. Hey SB fam, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video, me taking you to grocery shop, what's in my fridge, and what I cook for myself, my little sister, and stick and butter guy. Lots of videos of what we eat coming up shortly. Now I just want to dedicate the rest of this video to sharing with you some new items that I have been loving. I actually wore some of the pieces in this video. For example, this black top from Yvette Sports. All of the items that I'll be sharing is from Yvette Sportswear. So this is the first one that I absolutely am obsessed with i get so many compliments whenever i wear this it is kind of risque but if you wear a cute little sports bra underneath it does look really cute so this is called the shift light drawstring it's in the color black and if you can see super stretchy and i love this part i'll insert me trying on full outfits here in a little uh, snippet but i love how here it kind of does a little cinch so you can make it as cropped as you want or a little bit longer to cover more of your torso. So I have this in a size small, love it. And the next piece that I really, really love, this pink cute little ruffle design sports bra tank. I do love these adorable ruffles here. This one is called the Shift Light Charming Women's Support Bra. So it's really, really thick in material, which is great. So you don't have to wear any padding or any bras. As you can see, there's a cup padding here. So you'll have a lot of support and coverage, which is great. I actually wear this to sleep because it's so comfortable. I just treat these as my pajamas. I love it. Next sports bra is this white one and it has these cute little strings detailing here and the back is also just clasp on so you won't be struggling putting it over your head and stretching the sports bra snagging your hair my favorite one is their black one the high support push-up bra but this one is called the sculpt ultra cool high support sports bra this one right here i really like because 
It's a very basic, you can wear it with any cute top. It's black, it's comfortable, very stretchy as well, but it has really nice detailing where it does make it a little bit more unique than a plain old black yoga short pant, right? So you have that same cinching here. You can untie and make it a little bit longer to cover more of your thigh, or you can really cinch it up and make it extra short. This one is called the Shift Light Tie Side Women's Training Shorts. All sizes will be uh, mentioned down below in the description box if you're interested in my sizing and the products that I featured. Also, Yvette gave me a discount code for you guys. If you want to order from them, you can use Bella15 for 15% off and Bella20 for 20% off. And last but not least, a new pair of leggings. So most of my leggings are black. As you saw, I got the light blue one from Yvette. I had to get this salmon colored one because it's such a cute color. Anything orangey, corally salmon, I love. Um, so this is their long, full length leggings. As you can see, it is quite thick in material. I prefer my leggings to be thicker than thinner. And this one is called the For A Better Day High Waist. Exactly the same style and material as the black one that I featured in my last Yvette sportswear um, haul video. So this one is just in a salmon color. I'm in a size small, and I have to say, compared with my beloved Lululemon leggings, this is pretty much exactly the same in uh, material and texture and tightness and grip. So I do love it. It is very stretchy, but with a lot of grip, you know, so it hugs your legs and that booty. So if you guys want to check out Yvette Sports, I'll link their Instagram handle here or in the description box. You can check out their sizing guidelines just so you order the right size for your specific body. Um, they're very functional, super comfortable, which I really, really require for my clothes. And also they do have a great selection in sizes. So they have extra small to 5XL and their cup sizes for bras, they have, I think from double A to cup F. So it does cater to women of all shapes and sizes. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video. And if you guys want to request me to do other topics or other recipes, Q and A's, guests, please do comment them down below and as usual, I wish you guys a beautiful day, a meat-fueled, relaxing, productive, beautiful day. I'll see you guys in the next video. SVG out. Thank you.